Excuse me? I'm having trouble with the on-off button on my phone. Okay, let me check your settings, your photos. I don't see why you need to do that. Wow, that guy's really fat. <gasps> what happened? Oh, someone snuck into the construction site, stole a bulldozer, and went joyriding all over town. Now I've got everything I need to convict your boy, except for motive, means, and opportunity. Uh, you also have no evidence. That's implied. So I'm remanding him to... Is that a word, remanding? Yeah, uh, to your custody. Let's go! Earwig, roly-poly, doodlebug, beer cap, ant, beer bottle, Barney. All right, I'm on a list! <gasps> Flanders got a new dog! Now it's time for her Christian doggy training. This will be interesting. Sit, kneel, pray, play dead. Now resurrect and sit in glory at the right hand of Todd. Why don't you think about what you just did? I swear to you, on my mother's grave, I didn't do a thing. Sorry, sorry. Marge, Bart, I've noticed neither of you have said a word all meal. Are there feelings going unexpressed here? Kids, could you excuse us for a moment? Your mother and I need to have an adult conversation. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Your son stole a bulldozer. Well, Bart's ten. He's too old to be handled. We should just think of excuses for when he goes bonkers. Oh, acne medicine. When in doubt, blame the acne medicine. No, I'm not giving up on Bart. Bart, get in here! Look me in the eye and tell me you know nothing about that bulldozer. Any last words, Boyle? I know nothing about that bulldozer. Give him the juice! Oh, which one's yours? The one being electrocuted! I've never seen an eyeball pop so fast. Stop it! Stop lying right now! But, but, you have to believe me. You're my mom. All right, I will believe you on this. Smart. But until then, I'm going to keep my eye on you all the time. All the board. Mom, what are you doing? I told you, to trust you, I have to watch you all the time. <laughs> oh, you must be Flanders' new dog. I just want to apologize in advance for the things I'm going to blame on you. Homer, meet Boz. She sure likes you. Must be the cheeseburgers in your sweat. Cheeseburgers in my sweat, really? Now apparently I have cheeseburgers in my sweat. Which papers on the walls are yours? None of them. Is that the boy who copies off you? I copy off him? What brand of poppycock is this miscreant feeding you, madam? <laughs> Mom, churros are good for you. They're ethnic. Mom, Dad does plenty of stuff you don't like. Why don't you follow him? Following an adult is creepy. Following your kid is parenting. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. I am never leaving this tube. Man. Mm. Staying on this all pork chop diet is easier than I thought. The diet doesn't work. You have to give it a year. Very good, sweetie. Could you lean back? I have to focus on your brother. Sure, sure. No need to worry about Lisa. Lisa's always fine. No worries there. No. Who likes your dummy scratch while Flanders is worried sick? You do! You do! Yes, you do! Oh, he doesn't know where you are! Yeah, she's probably crying right now. Come on, boy. We'll go to my room. Middle child. No one cares about the middle child. Never ever gonna change. Lisa, can I talk to you? Ah, oh, here it is. A quick check-in every two years, just like clockwork. All right. Let me speak to you in a language you'll understand. Say this, but I will. She favorite child. Oh, now he's peeling on to big guns. Oh, I don't want to pout anymore. If he offers me ice cream, I'm gonna break. Want some ice cream? Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Boys, isn't that the ball is? She won't play with? Be ye friend or foe? Well, be ye? Oh, this is the only place I can go my mom doesn't know about. Bart, you know you're always welcome to come stay in my treehouse. Just hand me the Mountain Dew. Your mom says that makes you bloated. Give me the damn Dew. 
Finally, safe from my mom. She wouldn't want to come way out here and ruin her dainty little shoes. How'd you find me? Spool a thread in your pants. I'll re-spool it for you. I'm good at doing things so I can pretend there isn't a fight going on. Mom, you have gone too far. I can't help it. You leave them out everywhere. When will you leave me alone? When you tell me about that bulldozer. I know nothing about that bulldozer. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Go! Dad, are you gonna snitch on me? Mo's before bros. Lord, I truly love this dog, but maybe she'd be happier next door. But I don't want to give her up unless you think it's the best. As always, I will interpret the lack of any sort of response as a sign of thy will. Well, the kid passed through again. We can all go inside. Sweetie, let me help you up. Nagging is melting my bone. I'm giving you one more chance, Buster. Tell me about that bulldozer. What bulldozer? You're in charge of yourself. Get home whenever. My parenting stops now. At last! Away off Leper's Island! Oh. <gasps> Boys, I realize now that Boz would be happier in another home. Bart, should I shut the door? No need. My mom's cool now. Check it out. Last night he stayed up till 10.45. Oh, my God! I took a picture so I could show everybody. Now let me show you what I've been planning. Bart, I'm not butting in anymore, so you don't have to hide things under your blankie. It isn't a blankie anymore. It hasn't been for three months. So, we want you to have our dog. You just give her love, and I'll pay for all the shots. Oh, jeez. I can't stand to see Flanders sad. Or happy. Pretty much can't stand to see Flanders. But he'll need something to cheer him up when his boys run away. No, no, no. To her, I'm just another dog. A dog she's in love with, but can never have. But she's only got one of you, Flanders. The guy who will take care of her forever. Oh, thank you, Homer. I'm still not sure. Did you do that bulldozer thing before? You were there. Maybe when I hit you with the blade, you forgot some stuff. Bart, I can't do this. No offense, but I have a mother who still loves me. Huh? Oh, stupid mom. Stuck something in my backpack. I failed as a mother. Growing a conscience. I've got to change this prank. All right, Codex sign is a quiver. Uh, everyone remain calm. This is a part of the show. The IPs follow me. Much better. It says FD. It's a tribute to the fire department. Yeah! <sighs> mom, Mom, I learned there's a line I won't cross, and it's because of you and your chicken. That woman does make convincing chicken. You're the best boy a mother could want. And you're under arrest. How'd you figure it out? I heard you say it. The only way I solve any crime. You don't have to stop hugging. Come here, you. Come here. I know I've been having my fun elsewhere, and no one could blame you if you didn't take me back. But if you'll have me... I'll take you on the longest walk of your life. No hills. Is there any better feeling than waiting for a live Krusty show to start? Maybe watching your bride coming down the aisle. Hmm. <laughs> Seltzer bottle connected and pressurized. Jack, 
Roll up Dickie, set to six. Nope, 11. It's about your vodka, absolute crusty. We're having trouble persuading people it's hip to drink a vodka made by a clown in a bottle shaped like a clown that does this when you open it. If we're ever gonna sell your vodka, we need to do something completely unorthodox, a viral marketing campaign. So we pay for a big party at the home of a Springfield trendsetter. Your Brockman, your Bumblebee man. He invites his cool friends. We serve free cocktails made with your vodka, generating buzz. Hey, hey kids, who wants to host a viral marketing event? Yeah! All you have to do is write me a letter about how hip and influential your parents are. Milhouse, I'm gonna win that thing. So, uh, why are you here? Is it about that unauthorized crusty look-alike I hired for Lisa's first communion? What was his name? Crappy the Clunk. See? Homer, we're here to throw the most redonkulous marketing outreach this town's ever seen. This party is so much better than the crummy ones we planned. <laughs> I hope Bart's having fun. Why can't I go to the grown-up room? You said the clown scared you. Well, he did a little. <laughs> Boy, everyone from the nuclear plant is here. Except the bosses, of course. <laughs> He's destroying our youthful demographic. Oh, God, I need a drink. <laughs> So the car in front of us forgot to validate his, uh... Homer, you're the nominal host. Do something. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Mr. Burns, everyone is dying to hear you sing karaoke. Come on, just pick a popular song. Do you have anything by Prince Wilhelm of Prussia? Come, Josephine, in my flying machine. Going up, she goes, up, she goes. Balance yourself like a bird on a beam. You certainly seem to be enjoying yourself, sir. Indeed. Yet Homer Simpson is the beating baboon heart of this party. So he says, bigamy is having one too many wives. To which I replied, so's monogamy. <laughs> <laughs> Simpson, you're probably wondering why you're here. Now, here at the plant, there's no position more important than our accounts man, who's responsible for glad-handing our customers and suppliers. I'd like you to take over that position. Our current account man, Robert Marlowe, here is retiring at the end of the month. Before you say yes, Simpson, I feel it's my duty to warn you. Account men lose their soul. Woohoo! No more church! <gasps> the higher they rise, the further they fall. Why are you still here? Hey, you're a baby account man. So, for my last good deed before I retire, I'm going to help you persuade Mayor Quimby to sign off on a nuclear rate hike. Well, I can't believe I'm eating steak with the mayor. The next time I vote for you, it's going to be on purpose. Much obliged. Now, uh, where would you uh, like to discuss your proposed tax breaks? <laughs> wow, these seats are amazing. And if you don't like the score, you can change it yourself. Boring! God, what a great game. I can't believe that was work. Yeah, but work is over now. Want to drink with me till I fall asleep? Oh, well, I really should look at this picture a little longer. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Welcome home, handsome. <laughs> it's a rat race, but it looks like I won. Dad, you were supposed to read me a bedtime story. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Bart can read it to you. All right, Lise, let's get this stupid bedtime story over with. Proceed to the page with the butterfly bookmark as I cuddle up with Madam Bunny. <coughs> Pata... Patai... Patience! Patience! Get on with it! Shut up, shut up! I'm a bad reader, okay? Well, I could help you. I don't want your help! <sighs> then Joe found her promise very hard to keep. We did it, Bart!
Homie, what are you doing? My work is so meaningless. You make electricity. It runs the hospital. Loneliness, my mistress. Despair, my sex buddy. Angst is a chick I met online, but then it turned out it was really a guy. I'm going to bed. You don't understand me. Only she understands me. I'm sorry to bother you at home, Mr. Marlowe, but my husband's acting pretty odd. Coming home late, drinking in the morning. I've been divorced three times. I've got a cocktail addiction, a shrimp cocktail addiction, and I can't stop bending women to my sexual will. Well, you certainly won't be bending me. Wait, how did I end up in your bedroom? There's room in here for two. I'm a happily married woman. Wow, no woman's ever done that to me before. Your husband is a lucky man. I know, and I don't want him to stray from anything except his diet. I missed my son's graduation, my father's funeral, and my dog's best in show. Don't let Homer make the mistakes I did. Luann? It's not what you think. It's much weirder. Little women? Are you aware that's another way of saying girls? Look, I had to read it to my sister. Well, maybe we should hear a little. And then maybe you'll be hearing from my sister. And Amy and Joe hugged one another close, and everything was forgotten in one hearty kiss. End of chapter eight. Guys, it's getting dark. Okay, but you better be here tomorrow after school. Because we're going to keep making you read as a lame old girl's book. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is here, Mr. S. Tell her I'm at a meeting, not drinking. This is a whisper amplifying intercom. <laughs> Homer, I want you to come with me and the kids on a family vacation, rafting down Rattler River Canyon. Mm -hmm. That's great. Let me run the numbers, because I really want the Simpson account. And give these cigars to your children. The Mumpy Shoves in Washington are sending their sternest band of nuclear regulators, hand-picked to resist all blandishment. I'll handle it. I always do. Rafting, eh? It's a perfect way to entertain them. Oh, no, you don't! Goggly doggly. It all fits. Mr. Burns, rafting it is. Excellent. Oh, Marge, this is the most romantic trip you ever nagged me into. <gasps> uh, Marge, why don't I catch us some salmon? <laughs> why did you get us diversity kittens on Melting Pot Mountain? It's more fun to play with a ball of yarn if it has all the colors in it. You've got that, then. Are you sure you're Martin Scorsese? Enjoy the outdoors, you stupid kid. <laughs> this family time is so precious. Gotta go. <laughs> Homer, I want a Long Island iced tea. Homer, are you schmoozing those men? <laughs> um, I think we're supposed to get off here. Hurry, we're heading for the falls. <laughs> My co-workers are like a family, but in some ways my family is like a family, too. For God's sakes, Homer, I've given you three children. How ironic. I survived the Titanic by making a raft out of steerage passengers. And now this. Mr. Burns, your heart will go on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't really like bourbon or business talk. Just good old Simpson family fun. Hey, kids! I'm it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're not an accounts man anymore. Yep, your worries are over. I'm back to being a boring old safety inspector at a nuclear power plant. Silver bells! Silver bells! It's Christmas time! Walking in! Exquisite. Just exquisite. Makes me wish I hadn't released the hounds. Did you hear those sleigh bells jingling? Cease and desist! You are forbidden to perform that song without paying royalties to the copyright owner. No, oh, Duck. They're worse than nothing. I could write way better songs. Go ahead, but don't use A-flat or G-natural. Those notes are owned by Disney. Oh. That's A-flat. Oh. That's better. Wow, wow, wow. Give me tons of presents. No, no, no. 
Hey, Homer, writing a new Christmas carol? Maybe. Well, the Bible says it's fun to do stuff together. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> How am I supposed to write a song with that stupid jerk bothering me all the time? And... Wait a minute. Flanders tried to wreck my song. His views on birth control are wrong. I hate his guts and Flanders is his name. Excuse me. I've been researching indigenous folk music of Springfield, and I couldn't help overhearing your delightfully cruel hate song. David Byrne? F-L-A. His name is Ned. E-R-S. E That's a stupid name. He's worse than Frankenstein or Dr. No. F-L-A. Don't yell at Ned. E-E-R. His wife is dead. Everybody hates that stupid jerk. You don't have to move your feet. Just hate Flanders to the disco beat. Is, Is your perky, peppy, nightmare neighborino? F-L-A. His name is Ned. E-R-S. He is so white bread. The smiling mustache geek who walks with God. Mass dismissed. Hates their stupid neighbor. He's the Flanders man. The Flanders. Why don't we take a vacation and get away from that song for a while? Well, I guess we could afford one nice trip. Hey, Dude Ranch! And there's no radio or TV, so we won't have to hear your song! This Dude Ranch is gonna be great. A whole week without hearing that stupid song. You won't think it's stupid when you hear the extended salsa mix. No, no, good. Whoa, whoa! Can you take me to the hospital? Yeah, no problem. Wasn't that the hospital? Welcome to the Lazy Eye Ranch, where we give you a week of rustic ranch living. On this battleground in 1881, 56 Indians lost their lives and four brave Americans lost their hats. Those poor hats. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how they get on a horse where I come from. Daddy, I need upsies. Come in, sweetie. Oh, ah! I really don't want to do a lot of flip the loops. No problem. You can hop on the chuck wagon with Cookie here. Pleased to meet you. Hold it right there. <sighs> Mama Rattlesnake will be mighty sore if you scrambled her youngin'. Well, if you like animals, you won't want to disappoint that pony over there. She's just aching to show you around. <laughs> that was a delicious meal, Cookie. What do we do with our garbage? Just leave it for Cleany. <laughs> Would you like to be photographed in my great-grandfather's headdress? We used to live and farm in a bountiful valley. Then the river was dammed to make that lake by our ancient enemy, the beaver. And the beaver have no right to treat you that way. If I get back your land, will you promise to build a casino on it? Sure. And when we do, your breakfast will be comp. Oh, Luke. I didn't gasp like that until I was 18. Lisa, this here is the New West, where we respect our equine and bovine Americans. I, I think maybe we should just look at the clouds. Oh, ain't that pretty? Oh, it looks like a happy sheep. Luke has shown me the gentle side of the Old West. He's really sophisticated for a 13-year-old. Thir what year old? Lisa, you're only eight. <laughs> Wanna play a little longer? It's only ten, and the moon is awful big. Well, heck, you should see it when it's full. Let's see, you move that there, do a flanking maneuver there. Wind should be coming in from the south. Map is useless. Useless! Tony, I'm worried about how fast our kids are growing up. Game. Oh, baby, baby. Look, Cookie, their 
there's a dance tonight. All righty. I'll see you tonight. And I'll save you the first dance. Love you too, Clara. <gasps> Clara? He's got a girlfriend. I feel like such an idiot. Excuse me. Is this the way to the Lazy Eye Ranch? Yeah, it sure is. But a quicker way to the ranch is that shortcut. <laughs> oh, boy. Check it out, Beavers. Delicious motel furniture. Quick, find a master log. There's always a master log. <laughs> We would like to make you honorary members of our tribe. Drink deep from these cups. The bear urine will make you strong. Don't forget the two drink minimum. Take your corner by the hand. Get adult videos on the. That sure don't sound like my sister. Sister? You mean she's not your girlfriend? Hell no. They outlawed that in this state two years ago. <laughs> Like me done something really terrible. Don't really care, just totally caught him in moments. <laughs> Help me! I can't swim! I'm one lesson short! <laughs> How can we get across? <laughs> Sorry, I only sent you the wrong way because I thought you were Luke's girlfriend. Well, that certainly justifies attempted murder. Look at those stupid city slickers with their fur coats and pointy hats. Homer, those are elk. I still hate them. Go back to Gross Point. Listen, Luke, it's my fault Clara got lost. I didn't know she was your sister, and I wanted you all to myself. You would do that just for me? That's despicable. <laughs> oh, I had my first crush, and all it did was make me do terrible things and then break my heart. <laughs> hey, let's see if Dad's song is finally off the air. Coming up next, Springfield's latest one-hit wonder, The Mo Sislak Connection, produced by David Byrne. Mm, we can spend another week at the ranch. Hi, Mo. Got any beer? Sure, check in the fridge. Wait a minute, I'm at work. You gotta pay for it. What the? Where's my money? Sorry, Homer. So you're just gonna let me walk out of here sober? Yeah, I'm afraid so. And you can live with that? Yeah, uh huh? Fine. There are plenty of other ways for me to alter my consciousness. Are you gonna buy those toads or just lick them? Lick them. Go away. Fuck off them. Oh. Well, Mo sees how wasted I got without him. He's gonna plot. <laughs> well, Mo. Homer, oh, I'm so sorry. Have a free beer. Oh. Ah, I don't care about the color of your skin, Lenny. Hey, I'm worried. I've had just about enough of you. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm out of here. Hey, we can't let our friend drive like this. I'm liable here. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. What's for breakfast, cutie? Only oh, it's 5 p.m. We're having dinner. I couldn't even wake you up for work this morning. I had to tell Mr. Burns you had violent diarrhea. Oh, couldn't you come up with a less embarrassing lie? But you did have violent diarrhea. All right, time for my favorite show. MTC, Monkey Trauma Center, will not be seen tonight. Aww. So we may proudly present this much cheaper show. <laughs> Looks like somebody got down tonight. Disco Stu always gets down, baby, because when the beat is hot... How you doing? Talky thing, ain't you? Another proud moment for the Simpsons. I don't remember anybody telling me I was going to be on TV. You got a family? Oh, yeah. Wife and two or three kids. 
Can't imagine my life without him. No, you big fooler. Pretending not to remember so you could surprise us. Then there's those other days where you just wish you never got married or had kids. One minute you're a carefree teenager with dreams of being a rock star or a photographer for Playboy. <gasps> so whammo, you get stuck in some boring job where they don't let you play guitar or take pictures of naked women. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they took Monkey Trauma Center off with this. Have you always resented us, Dad? Oh, I don't resent you, sweetheart. Sorry we ruined your life, Homer. Get in! What? Huh? Get in! Hey, what's this suitcase for? Are we going on a trip? You are. <laughs> Get out of the car, Homer. <gasps> the Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp! But I thought you guys were mad at me. For once in my life, I'm confused. You work a job you don't like, so I'm able to be home with the kids. And you take me places you hate, like museums, plays, and the Olive Garden. You guys are the best! I love you, I love you, I love you! Oh, I'm okay! I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you! <laughs> Campers! How you doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's Mick Jagger and Keith Richards! Now you're all here for one reason. To rock! Who said that? That's right, Otto. We're here to rock! Hey, Mick! You gonna teach us your cocksure strat? Not today. I've got a ton of paperwork to catch up on. Are you ready to receive professional training in rock? You been awake all night? I am so excited, I couldn't fall asleep. I even took some pills I found on the floor and still nothing. Come on, who'd like to be a bass player? Out of my way, nerdlinger. My image. The clothes you wear on stage should be a defiant statement of individuality. Like this, Mr. Kravitz? God, no. Now, a guitar has many, many nicknames. An axe? A git box. Well, I guess that's it. Anyway, we're gonna start with the fundamentals. Playing a burning guitar with your teeth. We've got to start using a cheaper oatmeal. Sorry, Mick! Oh, no! Look, everyone, Homer's got it! I'm so hot for me. Everybody's naughty! And freeze finish! Ow. And no matter where you are, always say it's the wildest town in the whole damn world. Lyrics are the hardest part of songwriting. But rock stars are supposed to be about drinking and getting drunk and boozing it up. You just want mindless, generic rock? Precisely! She's worried about the state of public schools. Boo! She likes to party, she likes to rock. Yeah! Getting away from the gig can be a matter of life and death. So you've got to be in great physical shape. OK, follow me. Now, just pass the groupies and we're home. I love you. Please sleep with us. <laughs> They're bloody cardboard. We know. That was great, homie. What the hell are you doing here? Camp is over, Homer. It's been a week already. I'm glad you had fun, but it's time to come home. Your mother's right, Homer. Wait, don't go. I'm gonna keep on rocking. Come on, guys. A one, a ship. I'll take that. No! No! I won't go. You can't make me. Dad, you knew this day was coming. I knew nothing. Ugh, stop kicking me, Dad. Never. <laughs> I'll just have to settle for being a fat, bald, fat nothing. Finally. Can we go now? Cheer up, Homer. It's only rock and roll camp. But I like it. Tell you what, we're doing a benefit gig before we leave town. How would you like to join us on stage? Wow, all access. All access. <laughs> 
Ooh, good thing it's laminated. <laughs> wow, Homer. I ain't had front row seats since my Mooney wedding. And after the show, you can come backstage for pizza and puff. Right. Right. Now that's a winning combination. Oop, gotta run. Enjoy the show. Couldn't you find a more fuel-efficient Satan? Lenny, don't you have a crotch to stuff? Evening, fellow rockers. There you are. We thought we were going to have to go on without you. My official tour jacket! Look at... Wait. You misspelled Guitar Hero. We really just need you to tap the mics and say, Test. Test. Look! There's Dad! Woo! Yay, Homer! I'm his groupie. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Grouping? Test. 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 You're testing my love for you. Check, check. You're checking to see if I'm true. He's stealing the show from us. Not on my shift. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> It's good to see the spectacle back in rock. Did you know it was going to turn into a riot, Dad? Oh, yeah. When you've been in as many as I have, you can sense them coming.